Good morning and welcome to your Saturday workout. Isn't it great that we can do this every single Saturday? So this is gonna be happening all the way across social media and this is especially for you ladies to feel amazing about your figures. Now, why am I holding this? Well, resistance bands are absolutely key to really getting that blood flow through to the muscle. So any of you that find that you do exercise and you, you don't really, you're not really feeling it, you can't really feel the muscle, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now we're gonna start with bicep curls. The idea is that you warm up within the range of movement that you're working. So those of you that haven't got access to the gym, all we're gonna do is some basic shoulder rolls to really get the muscles warmed, all right? We're gonna do a few little stretches to make sure that we don't get any injury as we go through this workout. Now, all I ask is 15 to 20 minutes of your time to really get a good workout in, to lift your endorphins, which is a hormone and makes you feel super positive, and really just relax, go with the flow, follow my instructions. So this Saturday, we are gonna be doing pyramids. Now pyramids are a way of training whereby you start with a lighter weight and then you increase the weight and then drop it down again. So number one, the band. Number two, either a dumbbell or a leg weight to increase the intensity. So here we go. You're gonna stand on the band. So you're gonna put the band on the feet like so. You want to take the legs slightly apart. This is a very light band, okay? You're gonna retract your shoulders back, pull the tummy in, and press the elbows into the waist. Okay, so off we go. Breathe out, hold, breathe in. Breathe out, hold, breathe in. We've only got 10 repetitions today. And as you pull up, I want you to release your fingers. Your hands are just hooks with the weight at the end, retracting the shoulders back, Keeping the tummy in, lift it up and take it down. Lift it up and take it down. Pull that stomach in towards the spine. Pull that stomach in towards the spine. Off you go, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. You've got this, lift up, slowly down. You've done your 10, you're gonna take it off. So step out of it. Then you're gonna take hold of a heavier weight. So you want to have either a leg weight or a dumbbell. This is gonna increase your intensity. Again, you're gonna step on the band. You're gonna take hold of your weights and of the handle. So it's a little bit fiddly, but just make sure that you've got it like this. So you've got the palms facing up to the ceiling. You are then gonna step onto your band as well. Again, retract the shoulders back. Okay, here we go. This is where it starts to work. So this is your second set, a bit heavier. Breathe out, breathe in. Range of movement, less. Breathe in. Squeeze the inside the arm against the body. Lift up, slowly down. Breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in. And, and down. And, and down. And, and down. Really breathe with it until you've done your 10. Then you let the arms go down, step out of it. That was actually really heavy. <laughs> These are a 5K and uh, you certainly feel it. Then, you go back, then you go back to your lighter resistance. So you're gonna step on, shoulders back, tummy in, retract, hit the legs a little bit further apart to increase that resistance a tiny bit. Lift up, slowly down, so you've got more range of movement. Only for 10, breathe out, release those fingers, breathe in. Breathe out and breathe in. And again, lift up, slowly down. Again, breathe out and breathe in, keep it going, lift it. Slowly down and again, breathe out, Breathe in, you've almost got this. And down and again, lift and down. Now notice how the top part of the arm doesn't move. Now the elbows are not coming forward, they're not going too far back. That is so important with a bicep curl. So the idea is to lock your arm, the inside of the arm, against the body retracting the shoulders back, lifting up through the tummy. Now, if you do that, you're more likely to feel and activate your bicep. Okay, on to the next set. So we've got two sets of this today. We're going to be using the light band again. Make sure you take some water. And so always stay hydrated. Even if you don't feel like water, make sure you have some because quite often, one of the reasons why we feel so ill generally is that we aren't going around dehydrated. So if you're not having 1.5 liters to two liters of water a day, you're gonna feel it in your body. All right, so shoulders back, tummy in. This time you're turning the hands in towards the body in a hammer grip. 
Retract the shoulders back, keep the tummy in, lift it up, take it down slowly, breathe out. You've only got 10, breathe in. Slightly loosening the grip on the, on the handles. And, 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 and. Now, squeeze the upper arm against the body, lift. Don't over grip too much and squeeze, only 10, keep going. Pull it down. Now, remember when you pull it up, keep the arm correctly against the body by squeezing this part of the arm in here, retracting those shoulders back. You're then, after you've done your 10, going on to your dumbbells or your leg weights. I'm gonna do it this way around. So stand on the, the band first. Take hold of your, with a flat back, with a flat back. This one's a challenge. Retract the shoulders back, keep the elbow by the waist, and off we go, I'll do it to the front. One, and, 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 four, keep going, five, squeeze, try not to move, six, seven, ah, eight, nine, ten, eek, and down. <laughs> Ladies, that is tough, okay? So make sure that you use, you want a weight that's yeah, it's a little bit challenging on this second set. All right, you're gonna shake the arms out. You won't have time for a sip of water. You're gonna go straight into the third set. Your lighter weights again. Your lighter weights. Retract, lift, go. One, two. So if I was facing you, can you see how the hand is in the midline of the body? It's not out to the side. So always work in front of the mirror. It's not vanity, it's just to check your form. Shoulders over the hips, bending the knees. Keep the shoulders back, keep the chin down. Make sure the range of movement is up and down, but again, look, you see the upper arm is squeezed tightly against the torso, so you don't get a, you work, it means that you'll keep your best, better technique, it means that you'll feel it in your bicep. And that is your two pyramid sets. So the two pyramid sets are designed to, first of all, you've got the thickness of the bicep, this position with the hand up to the ceiling. When you rotate the hand round, you're working on this beautiful shape here where the shoulder actually attaches into the bicep and you get that length here. So when you see a woman with nice shape on the shoulders, not over muscular, but just tone, this could be something that she is doing because as we, as we age, our lean tissue decreases. And when our lean tissue decreases, it means we get more fat. Now, as we become older, we can't help that. It's a natural progression. Embrace it. Embrace it, but make sure you maintain your lean tissue. It is not vanity to want to have better balance, better body tone, better support of your skeletal system, less intensity of osteoporosis in menopause. Where's the vanity in that? Your posture, absolutely. Spinal posture, lifted, not curved. Strength around your lower back. Are you gonna get back pain? Not so much if you do maintenance exercise and back work, which is all part of this programming. Okay, so the 90 day challenge is up and running. It is a program that is completely online and you will be getting some fantastic videos, advice on food that you can eat throughout the day. Everything is planned out for you. It is simple, it is easy, it is online, it is with video and my absolute enthusiasm. And of course, I will be at the end of an email or on the Facebook group to support you through your journey. So why not join the 90 day challenge and see, see how good you can feel. Feel those endorphins lifted. See that change in your body. You know, check out the videos on the 90 day challenge. The ladies that I work with consistently and have been doing through the years will explain how I work with people. It's all in video for easy to follow. So ladies, we've just finished doing our biceps. So we've done two sets of pyramids, all right? So going all the way up, taking the way up to the peak and down again. Usually pyramids are done with uh, more sets, but we're starting with three. I think that's more than enough. Okay, so the next one, we have our leg weights. What you will need is a light band and a thicker band. Again, we're doing a pyramid system with our glutes. Here we go. So make sure that you use the lighter band first, less resistance, rolling down onto the floor, shoulders back, tummy in. And really important here is to squeeze the glute. 
I don't want too much tension on the band at first. So you're gonna press up into a bridge position, pressing through the heel, lifting the pelvis high and taking it down again. Breathe out, roll up, breathe in, and go. And push. Every time you push up, don't forget you're doing 10. Every time you push up, you're gonna be pressing through the heels. I want you to almost lift those toes up and squeeze the glute. After you've done your 10, you're gonna hold the position at the top and breathe out. Squeeze the glutes together at the top, breathe in and breathe out. Squeeze the glutes together at the top and breathe in. And then when you've done 10, you're gonna hold it nice and high. Hold it here, hold it here. Then you're gonna push out to the side. Now you're not pushing out with the knees, you're pushing out from the hip, working your hip adductors. Really important to have strong adductors. Supporting those hip joints, supporting that mobility. Press the glutes nice and high. As you do 10 pushes on the band, pressing the weight in the feet just slightly to the outside of the foot there. Keep the pelvis high after you've done your 10. You're gonna hold it here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Roll it down and hug your knees into the chest. Breathe in and breathe out. Relax the back. Taking the band off, put the black one on. Okay, are you ready for the next set? Exactly the same. Breathe in, breathe out, contract through the pelvis. By that I mean push the back into the floor by squeezing your bum cheeks, simple. And make sure you've got tension on the thicker band now. This one's gonna, this one's gonna activate those glutes. Okay, visualize the peach up. Squeeze the glutes together at the top, down. And again, pressing through the heels, lift, slowly down. And through the heels, lift, slowly down. And breathe out, squeeze at the top, breathe in. Pull the tummy in as you go up. Breathe in as you go down, keep going, lift, and slowly down, and again, lift, and slowly down, and again, squeeze it, and slowly down, you've got it, up, and down, breathe out, squeeze, and in, when you've done 10, hold it at the top, hold it, squeeze, so you want your bum cheeks squeezed together, I would say there's a 500 pound note between those bum cheeks and you're not letting go, okay, you're going to press out to the side. When you press out, use your hip abductors, all right? By that, I mean, even though the knee's going outside, don't think the movement comes from the knee, always feel it from the glute. And the only way to do that is push up high in the bridge, 10 pulses. After your 10 pulses, you're then gonna push the glutes up and hold it. Keep that pressure on the band. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and roll it down and hug those knees into the chest, breathe in and breathe out, breathe in and breathe out, take the band off, put the other one on, okay, all right, those glutes should be burning, ladies, are you ready, let's go, all right, heels down, big breath in and big breath out, contract, by contract, squeeze the glutes, let's go, 10, up and down, nine, up, and down, eight, push, and down, seven, up, squeeze, down, six, and five, and four, and three, drive through the glutes, two, one, up, hold it, go, push out to the side in, two, three, push, four, five, push, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, hold it, squeezing the glutes together, pressing the pelvis really high, Taking the weight into the outside of the feet. Keep going, push it, pushing on the band. When you've done 10 seconds, roll down and hug those knees into the chest. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay, this is where you take a sip of water. If you need it, you're going straight into your stretches. Let me move the bands out of the way. Okay, you're going to hold those knees for 10 to 20 seconds in towards the chest. Relaxing the shoulders, pull the tummy in. You're then gonna take one leg slowly to the floor and take the other leg up and extend. So, bend the knee, hold, stretch. Bend the knee, hold, stretch. Now, even if you don't have that flexibility, you can still hold here. The idea is to stretch through the hamstring, which is attached to the glute, which is attached to the lower back. 
the more flexibility and mobility you have in that area, the less pain you're gonna get now and a lot less pain when you're older. And this is about keeping our bodies healthy. So if you find it hard to bring the leg into here, just hold it there. Extend the leg up if you can and ease it in. If you can extend from the knee, because lots of people do yoga nowadays, we have flexibility through the hamstring if, you, if you've been working it over the years. And to be honest with you, flexibility can come back. So if you're finding that, oh, I'm not, it's not, I'm not as flexible as I used to be, doing small things like this at least three to four times a week, you're gonna find makes a massive difference, okay? So take the other leg into the chest, breathe in and breathe out. Hug the knee into the chest first, make sure both hips are on the ground, and then you're just gonna extend from the knee. Now you keep the knee bent, feel the stretch. Breathe in, breathe out. Try and go with the breath, so breathe in, as you breathe out, you extend the leg. Relaxing through the shoulders, looking up towards the ceiling, totally relax on this leg that's on the floor. Breathe in and breathe out. So our aim is to get the leg as low as we can, stretching through the hamstring, into the lower back. Hold it there, and in, and down. Cross one leg over the other. So you're gonna press that knee out gently. Just be careful, see if you've got any tightness in your hip, hold it here. Breathe in and breathe out. If you don't feel anything, take both hands, put them through the leg, and around the back of your hamstring. Now, try and relax the shoulders on the floor. Breathe in and breathe out. You're gonna hold this for about 20 seconds. If you have good hip mobility, you won't feel a stretch there. So you want to push the knee out, either with the hand or the elbow, but try and relax through the upper body at the same time. So you get a nice stretch through your lower back. You can take that down and round. You take the other leg up. So you're gonna rest here for a second, breathing in and breathing out. You're gonna push the knee gently out to the side. Hold it here, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Feels okay, take the hands, pop them through here, bring them in towards you and hold. Breathe in, breathe out, keep going, breathe in, breathe out. Let the stretch kick in, 10 to 20 seconds. Feel it through the glute, hold it there. Hold it, hold it, breathe through it and hold it. And again, hold it and then take it down. Okay, both knees into the chest. Take the feet to one side, hands out to the side first, drop over and look away from the knee and take the top leg slightly up. Notice I didn't really move the feet. Just towards the end, you take the top leg up. You can put the hand on the knee, but make sure you look away, keep the shoulders on the floor. This is really important for your lower back. You're gonna bring the legs back together, come back to the center, roll it around, Drop those knees over to the side, breathe in and breathe out, look in the opposite direction and hold. Now if you want to, you can take the leg up slightly and stretch, put the hand on the knee and feel the stretch. Can you feel it? Make sure you are turned away. So the idea is to keep the shoulders on the floor with the knees going the opposite direction so you get a beautiful stretch through your lower back. Some of you may be familiar with this one, so take up the intensity and take the leg higher. Breathe in and breathe out, come back to center. Knees into the chest, you'll finish your workout. And roll around them to the side. So ladies, just remember that to work out doesn't have to be hard, doesn't have to be forever. It has to be intelligent training. Today we did two sets, 10 reps each set of mini pyramids. And you will feel that the next day. And the system that you use to train varies it up, stops you getting bored. The fact that you can do this in 15 to 20 minutes, you could do different body parts each day. So you see how you can fit things into your day. It is easy. It's about intelligent training. And that is what the 90 day plan is all about. So go check out the Menopause Lifestyle Solution. Have a look at the videos, have a look at the website, have a good browse and I am here to help you to so take advantage of it. This can absolutely change your life.